Hi everybody, it is July 3rd, 2021. I want to show you this video though, I think probably most of you have seen this, but I want you to watch it again if you have. Listen to what she has to say. Then I'm going to play you a mainstream media report on it. And then I'm going to show you what is happening now because of this. We, we spa, so you don't, so it's okay. I just want to be clear with you. It's okay. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he, so he can stay there. He can stay there? What sexual orientation? I see a dick. It lets me know he's a man. He, he's a man. He is a man. He is not no female. He is not a female. He is not a female. Hold on. He is not a female, sweetie. Okay. Girls down there, other women who are highly offended for what they just saw. And you did nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, you sided with him. So we spa is an agreement with men that just say they are a woman and they can go down there with their penis and get into the women's section? Is that what you're saying? What, what, really? What law? What law? So women can go into the men's with their breasts? Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't. Y'all wouldn't come back either. Yeah, get your money back. You got a man with his penis come back. He's a woman. He ain't no woman. Uh-uh. Yeah, give her money back. There's no such thing as transgender. He has a dick. Okay? He has a penis. He has penis is hanging out. Okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right. As a woman, I have a right to feel comfortable without a man exposing himself. Okay? No, you go somewhere else. Okay, so that's right. No, he's not a transgender. He has a penis, just like you do. Are you, are you, are you, are you? No. Yeah. Okay, it's not okay. It's not okay. Okay, that's traumatizing to see that. I'm a woman. I think this is a place right here. I'm told only for women. So how dare you sit up here and tell me I don't have a right as a woman you know, to defend. I'm telling you, he has a penis. Okay. So. He, spa, so it lets me know he's a man. Um, if they insist on breaking down all norms, you know, all... Um, Anybody can go into any bathroom. Why can't they just make a separate, a separate locker room, a separate bathroom for those who consider themselves trans? That would alleviate an awful lot of these problems. Oh, right. The problems. That's what they want to manifest. And they sure have. Now, I love people who uh, just, well, state it like it is. And they have the courage to speak out. And I would be right behind that woman. Frankly, I would be that woman. Um, let's listen to mainstream media doing their thing with what happened. Controversy at a health club in Koreatown over the issue of gender. That's right. Video of spa goers complaining was posted on social media. KKLI's Chris Holmstrom has video of the dispute live from Koreatown this afternoon. Chris. Juan and Susie, this video is going viral. Already over 100,000 views on Instagram, even more on Twitter, and it's video that has a lot of people talking. I just want to be clear with you. It's okay, it's okay for a man to go into the women's section. A rant caught on cell phone camera at We Spa in Koreatown. In the video, the woman claims a naked man was in the women's day spa. He, he's a man, he is a man. He 
is not no female. The woman who posted this video to Instagram goes by the name of Kubana Angel with the title Christ is King. What, what, really? What law? What law? So women can go into the man's with their breasts. The video goes on for about three minutes. Okay. Bambi Salcido is the CEO of Trans Latina Coalition. I think this is one of the horrible things that we experience every single day within our society. We reached out to WeSpa. They declined to comment but say they do follow state law, which makes discriminating against trans and other non-conforming people in business establishments illegal. California is the state in the whole nation that has the most trans-inclusive legislation. And obviously different um, local governments also adopt some of those laws. Later in the video, other guests try to defend the person, but Cubana Angel was not having it. In fact, in the comment section, she posts, real women rights matter. That comment got more than 251 likes. Salcido calls it ignorance and hopes one day all trans people will be treated with respect. The trans community, particularly trans women, right, like, we experience this type of violence every single day of our lives. And right before this newscast, the woman who posted this video told me that she is planning a protest here at Weespa this Saturday. But as you can imagine, there will likely be counter protesters as well. Report live. And there are, which I'm going to show you some of that. But isn't it interesting? They never included that part where she's talking about the young girls in the locker room with that man they don't they don't you know show you that part where she is talking about his penis just hanging out but they do include Christ as king right okay this guy or woman whatever um He's talking about ignorance. He's talking about respect. Do they have any respect for those who are not transgender? None. I am so sick of this. I am so, this guy or woman, whatever he is. I don't know. All right. But it's like they have no respect whatsoever for anyone who's not transgender. And how dare they post this when there are young girls, minors, in that locker room. What the, you know, look. Oh, and don't leave me comments that you're concerned about my mental health or take a vacation or whatever, you know. All right. You know, they have, this is so obvious, an agenda. I have nothing against transgendered people. Nothing. You know, you're an adult and, well, leave the kids alone, first of all. But, hey, <laughs> that's part of the agenda. Uh, but adults, you get to live however the hell you want to live. As long as you're not hurting anybody else. But you are hurting other people. You're hurting the women who are not transgender, who just want to be able to feel safe. And frankly, I was thinking about this. You know, I've had uh, uh, in my uh, growing up a lot of sexual abuse. And I was imagining being, you know, in that locker room and then just seeing a man with his penis hanging out, that would affect me. So they don't care about anybody but their own self. I'm sick of the self-centeredness. I'm sick of the lying. I'm sick of people just twisting around, twisting around, or omitting, or outright lying, or, you know, if people actually saw the full video, I think that people in their, well, you have to be in your right mind to then listen to that guy and get really pissed off. We need so many more people who are in their right mind to speak out, to stand up, to 
do whatever. Well, this, this now is the result, okay? There was a protest in LA outside of Wee Spa. And of course, Antifa shows up. No safe space for Trump. Get the fuck out. Keep walking, please. No. The black ninja turtles and i don't mean black skin I, they dress in black okay this is the non-existent antifa according to the democratic party they don't exist they don't exist you know <laughs> all right i had my own experience with gaslighting yesterday all we see now is gaslighters manipulators liars I'm s okay they're so courageous though aren't they they're so courageous they carry around their black umbrellas because oh, they don't want to be identified they're thugs and who the hell raised these kids who the hell raised them what are their parents like More people are running up. You can see more people are running up. over there leaving. It's so, I mean. Pedophilia and being transgender have nothing to do with each other. We come and see. We come and see. This is about the children. Hey, stop. This is about the children. They don't give a shit about the children. They don't care about anything except their little own self. You know, there, there are so many videos on this page, on this Twitter account, of what took place today, the violence against people who are, you know, protesting these transgendered men, especially, in women's locker rooms. Just create another locker room. Oh, that, that's just too much. I can't do that, right? Can't do that. So there's an agenda here to create just this. And Americans better wake up. Wow, you know, why do I even bother to say that? Because nobody's going to awaken, you know? And even if they awaken, they're not going to do anything, you know? We have so few courageous people in this world who could stand up.
They want to protect children. That's it, you know? And this is what they get. This is the response. These are adults who, frankly, they're a danger to society. They're sure as hell a danger to children. You know. Well, you can go through these. You know, I'm just so sick to my stomach. What's going on? That sign doesn't do anything for anyone. You're just hating on people for no fucking reason. And that's got to stop too. You know, the people who have, you know, still a brain cell in their brain and really do want to protect children um, and also just want to have a safe place for when they're going to the bathroom, when they go to locker rooms, okay? All right. They don't, so they don't have to look at some guy who claims to be a female and he has a penis hanging. Okay? No, sorry. You may feel that you're a female. Fine. You're a male. I'm looking at a male body. Okay? So, just go off in your own little locker room so you don't cause all of this shit. Do we have... Are, are there any healthy people left? Are there any? Uh, uh. Yeah, she gets pushed around. Well, whether she got her sunglasses back or not, I don't know. And no police around. No police around because Antifa doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Just cut her for her, asshole. Come on. Back up, back up. Get up and go. Hey, that's what you get. That's what you get, too. Yeah, Antifa. They're anti-fascist. They don't permit any view that goes against theirs. They don't permit any opinion that goes against theirs. Um, they don't care about kids and will, oh, I'll fight and I'll punch people. And, it, you know, the parents, man, wow, you really did a great job in, in uh you know, putting these little kitties on a trajectory where they remained little kitties, little communist kitties who are violent. Good job, mom and dad. Good job. We are so unbelievably messed up in this country. So, yeah, lots of videos. You can watch them. You know, people getting beat up, punches, you know, when they're just walking down the street.
So yes, this is a terrorist organization, but let's go after the Republicans. Let's go after those January Sixers. Oh my God, it was a day. It was infamy. It was so, well, there's no evidence that any cops or got um, beat up by those Trump supporters. Well, but let's just lie because the American people love it. We'll just keep lying, okay? They love it. They love it because they don't have to do anything. They just have to accept all of the bullshit that comes out of mainstream media. Hey, and I can just sit here and shake my head and get all pissed off at the red team. And I can believe that Antifa doesn't exist. What the hell is wrong with us? If I could take a vacation, I would. If I could, you know, do a whole lot of things, I would. If I had an outlet, I would take it. But it doesn't even matter. Because whether I'm on, you know, uh, and I couldn't sleep last night, so yeah, I, what do I do? Let's just check out what's going on. And there's no escape from all of the lies now. There's none. No escape. And those who think that they're just good people and still lying, I'm sorry. You know, when I look at what's happening in the world, and then I hear from a lot of subscribers and what's happening to them personally, and then what I've experienced personally, I think to myself, there is no way in hell that any of this is going to ever get any better, and it's only going to get worse. But all of the people in your personal life betraying you, lying, you know, doing all of their crap because they haven't worked through their issues, you're part of the problem. Because you weaken, you weaken those around you. You know, I just wish there was some I don't know. Yeah, I want to use words like normalcy. What the hell is that? What is that? Yep. Just keep keep up the violence, you terrorist thugs. They care about nothing but their own little kitty self. You know, undeveloped, spiritually just vacant. Well, soon enough, they'll be looking like zombies. They're behaving like zombies. Now, they'll be looking like it. They're trash. This is trash. These people, these, you know, and when they're alone, <laughs> man, they're scared little boys and girls when they're in a pack and they got their helmets on and they're all blackened and they got their umbrellas they're not using that umbrella to guard from the sun no I don't want to ever be identified because they have no courage you can't talk to them because they just scream at you there's no nothing rational about any of them. They're sick, twisted animals. And at one point they were kids. Welcome to America. Jeez. Wow. All right. 
I... If you don't like how I express myself, don't watch my videos. If you are offended by hearing that I get upset about things that are taking place, don't watch my videos. Don't watch my videos. That's, that's easy. You know? I don't know what else to say. I hang on because it's as if I'm talking to somebody here. <laughs> Maybe I am losing my mind. <laughs>